Welcome back to another episode of 60 Seconds with the Superintendent. Hi, I'm Dr. Fisher, Superintendent of the Roselle School District. Here I am here with Dr. Perez and Ms. Marshall Simmons, my Assistant Superintendents of School. While we're preparing for this upcoming academic year, we continually prepare for quality and equitable learning opportunities for all of our scholars as we prepare them for college, careers, and life. Over the past few weeks and months, school readiness efforts have been a priority. Annual cleaning has been heightened to optimize all learning spaces. A host of facility repairs and upgrades have been conducted across the school district to provide a welcoming and safe learning environment for all students and staff. More importantly, our instructional focus has been of the utmost priority to ensure that adequate staffing and resources are readily available. An enormous effort was conducted over the summer to ensure our classes and schools across the district are fully staffed, ready for teaching and learning. As we prepare for the school year, we have also launched our efforts to implement the RPS Strategic Plan Vision 2027 come to full fruition. All resources and district goals are focused on the five priorities outlined within the strategic plan. Those priorities are student achievement, health and wellness, facilities, sustained leadership, family and community engagement. For more information on the RPS strategic plan, Vision 2027, I encourage you to visit the district's website to review the plan in its entirety. As we approach the school year, the following serve as the district's goals. RPS goal number one, to ensure equity for all students through access, opportunity, and voice that is valued, respected, and included in all aspects of the curriculum, policies, and the school community education environment to improve student achievement. RPS goal two, to foster an environment which maximizes students' social and emotional growth, mental and physical health and academic development by educating the whole child for educational and societal achievements. RPS goal number three, to commit to student and staff wellness through programming SEL instructional practices and policies. RPS goal number four, to build, empower, and engage the community by strengthening parent and community partnerships to increase student, academic, and social achievement. Each of these goals were developed with intentionality toward greater learner outcomes. These goals begin even with our youngest learners here at the Kindergarten Success Academy. That being said, as a learning community, we must continue to work collaboratively to optimize the learning experience and opportunities for all scholars throughout the 22-23 school year and beyond. Well, again, welcome back. And until next episode, remember, we do this because all students matter and our focus remains on every student every day.